Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on this Godforsaken channel. It's nearly 2021 and Covid is still about. It's fucked. Well, um, through this year and last year, I have uh, had a, um, a great passion of listening to music and, uh, you know, picking things up from it and shit like that. So uh, recently I've been starting a vinyl collection near my birthday, 30th of October. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been great. So uh, in this video, I would like to show you some of the vinyls I have been collecting, because uh, most of the vinyl vinyl things vinyl things that I do is on uh, Instagram. Uh, I'll do a little quick plug at the end of the video because why not? By a friend, I appreciate that friend. Subscribe to Kid Easy on the YouTube's. But yes, thank you. Um, but yeah. Um, Let's get on with it. Before we head into showing off the vinyl collection, here is my record player. It's fucking shit! Yep, it's fucking shit. Uh, it skips a lot on uh, one vinyl I will show later. And here is the box. <laughs> some stupid looking stickers on there because I thought it looked cool, even though it looks like some bloody e-girl has got into it. <laughs> Alright, now first up is the first debut album of uh, a, t a duo called Giant Swan. This is their self title, Giant Swan. As you can tell, there is a weed logo and it's got on this nice, dark, almost shiny slate green thingy. And there is the Wi Fi logo, that's pretty interesting. Now, um, here is the, here is the thingy. I mean, here is the sleeve. I don't know vinyl language terms, but here is the sleeve. Looks pretty nice. Here, go and zoom in. So if it is upside down, I do not know. Don't sue me. But yeah, it's got the weed logo on it. Oh, illegal! <sighs> Hot. You th you thought then that 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 was me? No, it wasn't. This is the Richard D. James album coming out in 1996. As you can tell from the iconic smile of this absolute jungle masterpiece. Here is the back. It's made out of his eyelashes and eyebrows. This album is such a fantastic breakneck journey. And the an annoying thing is, it comes like this from the side, which is a bit annoying because he's like picking the vinyl from his head, which is it's a bit odd. So let's get it out. Hmm. Now, number the first side, this is my favourite because it's like also made out of the eyebrows and it's made out from the Apex Twin logo, which is pretty cool. This one is a bit... Less interesting, but it does have the warp logo on it. I'm sorry if I'm very inaccurate with the placing, but yeah, it's a black vinyl. Do you have to see it? No, but yeah. Third vinyl here is uh, 1986's Hiroshi Yoshimura's Green. Uh, look at that beautiful cover. It's so majestic. Uh, this is like a very, very calming, very nice, ambient, easy listening, minimalistic thing. And uh, yeah, it's very interesting. And even... When when it came in the inside, this is see through, so you can see the vinyl. Hold on, I'm gonna place it there. I hope it doesn't work. But this is this is the first thing that comes with like an information sheet. One side here, another side um, in Japanese, but I can't read Japanese. Um, and this is this is all like the information sheet of how he made the tracks. Um, I'm gonna zoom in on one of them quick. I hope I get it right. But yeah, absolute gorgeous album. Uh, rest in peace, Hiroshi Yoshimura. This is Earl Sweatshirt's Some Rap Songs. Came out in 2018 and this is an abstract experimental hip-hop sample-based album. Uh, gosh, can't believe I did that in one try. But here's the front. It's just a motion blur picture of his face. It's very simplistic. simplistic. He's always he said whilst making this album that he likes things simplistic. Here's the back. Look at that, it's very creepy, very very creepy face, and uh, yeah, love it. I can't, I can barely read the font, but you know, pirate, it looks like a pirate stuff. And uh, the sleeve is very interesting, I think this is my favourite sleeve out of all of them. It's like, um, in fact no, this, no, this is like my second favourite, but this is just a poem of his dad. This album is all about the grieving of his dead father, especially near the end, and how... You know, like he's he's apologising to his friends. It's just a very it's just a very very ventish album of some sort, and uh, it's very emotional and sometimes very deep, very dark. And uh, there's a back where his samples are used and everything. Pretty interesting. I'm zooming. Sorry if you can't read it, but yeah, solid. Uh, in my opinion, best uh, rap album of all time. But uh, he's compared to differ.
This is the 1998 second studio album from Fatboy Slim and... Oh my lord. It's me! Uh, uh, this is the first album I ever bought because obviously this motherfucking chunky monkey looks like me. And uh, yeah, uh, you've come a long way, baby. It's a great EDM big beat album. Uh, it's, it's a shame that most of his recent stuff is absolutely garbage. But yeah, this is the first album on this video which has a massive fucking fold. Woohoo! Uh, in fact, he used this this bit of uh, this area for the American version of uh, You've Come a Long Way Baby because I, d I guess he didn't want to get in trouble with this fella who took the picture of something who, who I, I don't know, unconsensually took the picture of it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, this is this is what came with it. It's the 20th anniversary edition. I guess it tells him all about Fat Boy Slim. Woo -hoo. And uh, this back, a lot of reading. It's quite interesting, but uh, to be honest, I can't be, I can't be asked reading it. And that smooth McGroove. Nice colours, a uh, lot of lot of text, lot of small text. I can't read, I can. Um, so yeah, uh, this is King Cruel Man Alive came out this year, and uh, yeah, um, I love King Cruel. I think uh, he made him my album of the year, top five album of the year. That'll be tomorrow, as a finesse of 2020. I'll make that video tomorrow. But look at that. Here's King Cruel. Is a track title. And guess what? It's another wicked fold, and one, there's one image here which kind of freaks me out. Let me try and find it. Yeah, it's like this one where Archie's face is really blurred, and it kind of gives me a bit of motion sickness. But there is no two LPs, there's only one. But this one is gorgeous. Look at that. It's like an inverted colour, but wait till you see this. Whoop! It's a white vinyl! Look at that, it's very thin. you got to be very delicate because I had to return this because it was a bit warped. But look at that. It's a thin vinyl. I'm going to put it back. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I actually prefer this more to the uh, actual cover. Because, you know, that looks absolutely bloody gorgeous. Next up is the most revolutionary... One of the most revolutionary uh, electronic albums of all time. Burial Untrue. It made a whole new genre called Future Gerard. Future... Future Gerard, I am fucking the front. Um, uh, yeah, it's that bleeding cup of coffee man is a very iconic. Let's turn around the back. Uh, it's a very dark image. And uh, yeah, that really represents what the sound palette is of this album. Very dark, very crunchy, very atmospheric with these cluttered two-step gorgeous beats and the most, you know... Some I can't explain. It's so it's so it's so gnarly. It's so gorgeous. Um, and there's two in it. It's very jam packed, and that's why there's a little scuff mark at the top here, at the bottom. So yeah, at the top. Look at that little scuff mark. But it's alright. I, I I only plan to collect, not actually to like keep and conceal a mere mint condition. I'm not I'm not comic book guy, but I do look like him if I grew out long hair. I look like a neat. This is the greatest uh, funk slash soul record of all time. Curtis Mayfield Curtis. Rest in peace to the legend. And uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic album. Guess what? It has another sleeve. Look at that. And that's him with, uh, I think, Miss Black America or his daughter. Could be the same thing. And there's more pictures of his daughter and everything. That's, that's very wholesome. But the most annoying thing about this... Is not the album. The album is fantastic. Uh, I think everyone knows it from that sample Kanye did on uh, was it Lost Graduation, uh, "Touch the Sky," where he ran across the fucking thing like a madman. But yeah, the, look, the, the the it's very tacky. It's like parchment paper and plastic, like the the, the sleeve. It's very um, annoying to get out as well, but. Very thick. There's no warp to it. It's like it's very dense and very thick. So yeah, um, a quarter and a half. Before I go into this album, I just want to say uh, I just want to apologise for the amount of repetitive words I use in this album. I just want to emphasise how good this is instead of saying good. You know, use a different vocabulary instead of good. But anyway, this is the studio second studio album from Kelly Lee Owens in a song. Came out this year. And it's an absolute corker album. That goes absolutely balmy. It's a inner, well, not inner, 
ambient pop, ambient trance, ambient house, you know, some good shit, some good electronics, and this is the first album which doesn't have a D-side, and it, on when it comes to the second vinyl, it always is just like a little odd round circle, which I tried playing, and um, accidentally scratched it, because I thought it would follow it more, but yeah. Anyway, um, here is the sheet that comes with it, the only inner sheet that comes with it, <laughs> Uh, but um, yeah, it's the lyrics to the songs. Um, but I think that kind of ticks me off is not this album, but the vinyl, the vi like the record player. It can't play one fantastic song on this called Night because the beat, the bass and beat, is too powerful for it. It skips and does stupid shit. Ramic Needle. I cannot speak English still. But yeah, fuck that record player. Uh, the second to last, uh, this is the 1996, uh, uh, I think it's debut album from DJ Shadow, introducing Ellipsis, the three dots, and, uh, yeah, pretty gnarly album, very plunderphonic bass, very, it's like trip hop, it's very, I think it's kind of revolutionary in a way, because it's kind of like a first plunderphonics album, this song was made by... His 60,000 vinyl collection, which is insane. 60,000. You taking a piss. 60 bloody thousand. And um, here are the two sides, which have some cool little pictures on it. Uh, some cool little pictures of him mastering and mixing all of his shit. Oh, that's just his face there in the corner. Hello. Hello. Um, it's, uh, yeah, solid. But the thing is, I had to return this because this album had, like, dog scratches on the side of it and I accidentally, well this is my fault, I accidentally, when I was opening it a bit too quick for Christmas, I got this for Christmas, um, I accidentally folded the corner of the cover and yeah that's a bit my fault but I was absolutely bloody gutted when I, when I fucking, like, when I, as I was listening to the A side and I was like, oh can't wait to listen to the B side with um, uh, what was it? Uh, the number song and everything on it. Uh, whatever it is, I I, I can't remember the <laughs> the track listing. But yeah, I was so excited for that. Dog scratches on the first fucking track. Yep, we got it. That's all right though. It's all right. A little bit of dust came in, but yeah, it's all right. The last piece of the vinyl collection, Aphex Twin Collapse EP, his most recent release in two thousand eighteen. Uh, my that is literally one of my favourite covers of all time, like genuinely. Here's the back, it's nice and orange, it says the track list in here. And um, I can't listen to it. The reason why I can't listen to it is because my player, like again, my record player, the You Dreamer, the fucking shit house, shits itself every time when it plays T69 Collapse or any song on this. It's too powerful, the frequencies are too powerful. And it's fucked. And also, I sounded like Bill Clinton in the last clip. In the last bloody cut. Uh, I do not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful uh, EP. Uh, this is. Uh, it doesn't come with Pathex, but that that uh, comes with a digital code anyway. Uh, so, that is the vinyl collection so far i have been waiting for one vinyl boards of canada music has the right to children for about 24 days now uh come on amazon get your ass on there unless you're stuck in dover yeah at this time 30th of december there is a massive traffic jam in dover i am your news reporter for this fucking day uh, woohoo but anyway um i should be uploading tomorrow because Top five albums for you? I can't do top fifty. I'm not an avid. I'm not that avid of a bloody music listener. But yeah. Um, yippee. Um, hope you have had a good year. Possibly had a shit year because a lot of COVID has affected each other. But yeah, hundred percent. Keep it straight. Keep it real. And uh, um, uh, uh, keep uh, uh, take it away, kid Asian. Hey everybody, this is Kadavy from the Kadavy YouTube channel on Kadavy on this thing. Make sure to follow Johnny Morbidly B from Instagram.